It's a lot of fun when gators aren't trying to eat your fish. It, what's it called again? Kicking their bass. Kicking their bass. Kicking their bass TV. Their bass TV. Right. What's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the support today. We have a banger for y'all. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button on today's video if you've been enjoying the content. And if you could, go text this video to one of your friends that you think would enjoy it because we are on the road to 1 million subscribers this year and I know the only way possible is if we work together as a team I know we can make it happen. You guys have supported me along my whole journey. We're coming up on 600,000 subscribers and I know by the end of the year, we can hit a million. So today we're gonna be doing some pond fishing. Going to be doing a little bit of bank fishing around these ponds over here and hopefully we're gonna catch a really big bass. We're gonna be throwing some frogs. Also have a couple other baits tied on and we're just gonna hunt for these big old bass. We're actually out here on a golf course today fishing some juicy little areas. And so I'm just hoping that we could catch a really big one. Last time we came out here, we didn't catch any really big fish, but we did have some good bites and I think we can make it happen today. The weather's beautiful, bluebird sky's out, the wind's moving just a little bit, chilling us off. So let's go ahead and hop into this video and see if we can catch some big ones. So I brought a few boxes of tackle today. We're keeping it super basic. Right here, we got our frog box. I know you guys saw this one in the last videos, but I'll show you one more time. Got all our hollow belly frogs in there. Bunch of different colors, natural colors, whites, blacks. And uh, that's what we're gonna be starting off with. I actually have one on my rod that's brown and I think I'm gonna throw that for a little bit. And if we don't have any bites on it, we can always switch up. Some of the other boxes I have out today, it's like a little walking bait box and then a little popper box right here. But that's probably gonna be for a different episode. So if you guys want to watch that one, make sure you turn on the post notifications. Stay tuned for that episode. So this is the frog rod that I got. It's a Mach 2, Mach 2 reel on a Mach 2 rod with 65 pound braid. And then we got a little brown popping frog right there. I think that's what we're gonna start off with. And then I have one other combo just to get some other fish on the bank. And this is a Custom Pro on a Mach 2 with a chatter donk on it, black and blue. And this is on 17 pound fluorocarbon. We're gonna take this with us as well because I think we can catch a lot more fish if we throw this around a little bit. And I think we have a bigger chance of catching some monster bass today if we bring this along with us. So let's go ahead and grab these two rods, get out to the pond, see what we're working with today, and try to catch a big one. So we don't get to fish golf course ponds often, but I'm gonna tell you, man, when we get the opportunity to, we're gonna come out here and do it. They're actually closed today, so you know we're not bothering anybody that's golfing. That's like a big thing when you come out to these places. As long as you have permission to fish them, you know you're good, and as long as nobody's swinging golf balls at you, that's the last thing you want. I remember one time we came out on a golf course and they weren't supposed to be golfing you know it was like closed for the day and this person cracked this ball and just i'm telling you about drilled us so be careful out there last thing you want to do is get knocked out by a golf ball make sure you ask for permission when you're fishing places like this but i think we're gonna catch a big one today last time we came out here is probably i'd say maybe a month ago and i broke off a freaking giant he was on bed he was like probably six pounds snapped him right off so Hopefully he's hungry today and we're gonna get revenge on him. There's a bunch of slop on top of the water, but I could be wrong, but I really think this is from them cutting the grass a second ago. Like, yeah, there's a little bit of slop. There's a bunch of grass that you could tell from them trimming this that just blew up in the water. There's a bunch of slop in that corner, so that's gonna be perfect for this frog. So we're just gonna start casting. Um, it's fairly clear water in this pond. It's not really big, it's not a huge place, but there are some really big bass in here. And you know, like I said, the last time I came out, or the last few times I've came out, you know, we've had at least one opportunity to catch a big one. So let's go ahead and start off with this frog. We're going to throw in the slop a good bit along the, the bank edge too, kind of parallel cast. And then um, if we don't have any bites, we'll pick up this chatter donk and start casting this around and try to pick up those fish that didn't want to come up. All right, boys and girls, let's get today started. Let's see if we can get on some old frog fish right where I just casted that. It's actually where I missed that big one last time. I didn't miss him, he just totally snapped me off. I think I just had a fray in my line. And the last time we were out here too, it was actually 
pretty dang windy and it made it hard to fish the frog. So we didn't really spend too much time at this pond either. It was just probably a brief 20 minutes. We went to a bunch of other ponds. That's why I'm wanting to start off with this one today because I think we have a chance of hooking a slaunchy. Oh my gosh, I got a line dangling from my head. That, that was a big fish, dude. Did you see that blow up? <laughs> that was a big one. All right, maybe he'll bite it because he. I think he totally missed it. I landed on his, right on his head. I think that was a different fish. They might be loaded in that corner. That was a decent one. I mean, it wasn't like a giant, but that was a really good bass. That was a high two pounder. Could have been three maybe, but probably a high two. I cast right before. I think that was a whole different fish right there. Actually didn't land in the same spot. And this slop is just like, not really the slop that you would like to fish, but obviously fish are hanging under it, so. It's really all that matters. It just gets stuck on this frog. You know, if I was using a standard frog instead of a popping frog, I wouldn't have this problem. All right, so we had those two bites. Both the bites was right when this frog hit that thick stuff and they just demolished it. I think I landed on top of their head. But we had that one, he came off, had that bite before. I think what I'm gonna do now is pick up that chatter donk, cast around a little bit, see if we can get some fish to bite. And then what we'll do is either pick up this frog and fish a little more over here, or we're gonna run to the next pond which I think it'd be a lot better with this frog, but I have to give that chatter donk a try. Cause like I said, there's some big ones out here and I don't want to skip over any big fish. I want to catch them. Ugh. Nasty. I was using this reel for the last episode. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's the, it's the bluegill fishing video. We caught some monster fish in that. So if you guys want to go check it out, feel free. I have like a bottom rig rigged up on this rod. The line is just all messed up and tangled up in it. I need to check my drag too, because that, that'd be my last mistake. There she is. I need to get like a good long cast of this, get the line all straightened out. Oh my God, dude, I, dude, that is crazy. As it was falling, had one destroy me right there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm holding off for dear life. <laughs> oh, get me out of there. Oh my gosh. Ate it right away, dude. Things fighting hard as can be. Nice. First fish of the day. Took a second. We got her. Come here, baby. Oh yeah. Not a freaking monster, but it's a good solid two pound chatter donk bass. Nice. You were supposed to eat a frog earlier, but he didn't want to. They're a little further off the bank right now. That's what I was thinking. That's why I wanted to bring this bad boy. We got our first little fat guy today. Pretty dude. Almost a two pounder. He is really thick too, I'm surprised. Let's get him back in the water. All right, there we go. Pretty bass. Thank you, buddy. First fish today. Me and Cody were just talking about it. I didn't expect to catch a fish right there either, dude. It was just 
I threw out there and he happened to just eat it right away. That was weird. He was off the bank. I think a majority of these fish are. It's starting to get hot, guys. You know, the summer temps are coming in. I think next week it's going to be 100, which is ridiculous. I think yesterday was like mid 80s. Today is probably going to be the same, but next week's going to get up to like 99. It's going to be brutal when filming these videos. Oh gosh. That fish felt so big. I thought that was a mega. I mean, he's a good one, but I thought, man, I thought it was a five, six pounder. There he is. I'm loaded up on it right away like that last one. These fish are fighting really hard. Come here, buddy. A little bit smaller than the first one. It's just pretty markings on him. Hit that chatter donk really good. He did the same thing as the first one though. It's like, I throw it in there and he already has it. And I'm like, what? But I actually thought that was a big fish. For some reason, he felt really big. Maybe it was how he ate it. Pretty gold markings on that bass. About a pound and a half here. Thank you, buddy. There he goes. Dude, he ate it right there, a big boil on the bank. It's only about two pounds, but he just came up out of nowhere. Oh, he just ate it. What in the world is he doing? He's not eating it. He took my trailer, and I hate to break it to you guys, but I wasn't expecting to throw this today, so I guess that's what we have to throw in, just the chatterbait. That was, oh my God, he's trying to eat it again. Dude, he's going crazy on this thing. This fish is just like chilling. You guys can probably see him. Watch this. Dude, I've never in my life seen a fish go so weird on a bait and not eat it. I like kept trying to eat it and just not eating it. There you got it that time. So weird, man. <laughs> that fish was just cracked out, man. That was the same one that kept, he just kept diving over it, just not wanting to eat it. He ate it that time, but I didn't hook him. <gasps> Dude, oh no. Oh my God, that fish was so big. Dude, I just had like a freaking five, six pounder and a dang three pounder following me up. Oh my God, he's, there's a little one trying to eat it right now. This is crazy. I'm about to lose my marbles. Yeah, aim out the water right there. You can... Oh my God. Dude, did you see that fish, Cody? I did. I saw his whole freaking body. That was a big that one. That was a freaking monster. All right, we're gonna make one more cast. Then we're gonna go out to that other pond and throw around that frog and try to get on that frog bite. I was just hoping to get a big one on this chatter donk, but it's all good. I had the opportunity, he just, didn't stay pinned. I don't know what happened. I had him on for a couple seconds. He's like a four and a half pounder, but whatever. All right. You ready? Let's go yeah, catch some frogfish. Just got out to the new pond and it is looking. Oh my God, look at that carp. You see that? Big, see his tail? Big boy. He's roaming right there. This place looks really good. It has like a bunch of this slop on it. Last time we came out here, it was extra windy, so. I think we're gonna catch a few. We're gonna throw this little brown frog right here, popping frog. Get to work on these frog bites. So let's see if we can catch one. Get him out there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. First frog fish of the day. Not a bad one. Not a big one, but not a bad, bad one. Look at that. It's a nice fish. Not a big one, but pretty guy. I'm gonna tell you, any fish is fun to catch on a frog, especially when you're thrown in this like thick, thick stop like that. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun when gators aren't trying to eat your fish. Dude, I, <laughs> woo. 
Right. <laughs> they, they, they lubed up this grass, bro. <laughs> I don't know what they put on it, but it's about greasy as crap, dude. Oh my gosh. Right, yeah, I'm good, but I think Mr. Bass is about knocked out. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, dude, I bust. <laughs> you know what's funny, dude? Is like I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting on the day that I bust my butt on this pond because I like, I'll come out here and I'm always slipping, but I never fall. <laughs> You're laughing so bad. Can it at least look cool? I'm gonna put that in slow mo <laughs> so everybody can see exactly what Dude, it is. I busted it. Like... <laughs> I was about to say I almost busted it. Nah, dude, I busted it. You busted it. I'm lucky I didn't slide in the dang water, dang alligator come bite my leg off or something. Let's try not to do that again. That's a decent one. Pull them out of all this slot. He ain't big. Well, that fish actually ate it without me even popping it. That's pretty cool. Like through on the edge of that grass. The only thing that I'm having like a hard problem with, I love fishing like thick slop, but the problem with this slop is that I'm throwing a popping frog. And when I fish thick stuff like this, I almost want to throw a regular frog, but I mean, I'm still going through it. I'm like kind of focusing on throwing in the open spots of the pat, all this like matted stuff. Really pretty colors, just not the biggest fish. Thank you, Bubba. Still fun to catch. Let's try not to fall this time. Thank you, guy. I don't know if you see that. There's two sitting in that corner. You see them? They should eat it. One of them are gonna eat it. You can just see them sitting under that grass. Oh, dude, there's a decent one. Oh yeah, he's about to eat it. <clears throat> That's a good one. Oh yeah. Dude, he choked it too. That was so cool. <laughs> Look at how that bass ate it. That's a, one of the best ones today. Freaking choked that frog. We actually saw him sitting under that grass. You know, when, when it's super hot, especially in the summertime and you have a lot of vegetation like this, what those bass do is, you know, you have these old patches and they sit under it, you know, cause it protects them from the sun and getting that shade. And uh, that frog, landed right next to him he saw that thing land over there and he just got aggressive and destroyed it that is a really nice fish right there choke that frog in the back of his throat it's a good one all right thank you buddy that was a good fish give me some cody Let's get it so when i caught that fish right there i actually saw one that was right under this patch Let's see if she'll eat it Oh yeah, they, oh dude, dude, there's like freaking 10 of them. There's 10 of them. You, they're, they're coming all over to it right now. Like 10 fish. My line. Yeah, do you see him looking at it? What if he eats it as a dangle? Oh my God. Oh, he, last second, last second. He... Oh my gosh, they're like hanging right under it. Dude, they're like. Oh, that was so cool. Dude, that's the stuff that just makes me lose my marbles. That was one of the coolest bites. That's a good fish too, man. Oh my God, it was dangling right there on the edge. Dude, that's a stud. Not a giant, but that's a freaking stud muffin. Nice, let's get him back in the water. We're not gonna put him over here. This is the thing, guys, when you see multiple fish like that, one, you wanna stay low. I don't know if you guys noticed, I crouched down, made sure you couldn't see me. And two, you don't wanna throw the fish right back on where you caught him because then he's gonna tell his buddies, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate you get you back in 
All right, guys. Oh, there's another one under that patch. Do you see it, Cody? Yeah. Dude, I'm just like sight fishing these guys. You yeah. see him under that patch? Yeah. There's two. See the other one swimming? He's kind of looking at me. I hope he doesn't see me. Uh-oh. He's going to eat it. He's right under it right now. There's there's like three of them just kind of nosed up at my frog. Oh God, that's a good one. These are some good fish in this corner. Oh my God, it's freaking big, dude. That's the biggest bass today, look at that one. Guys, look at that one right there, look how he ate it. Choked it, dude, that's the biggest one. That's a freaking brute. <laughs> These fish are getting bigger and bigger. In this corner, they're loaded. We fished this whole pond, we really didn't have any luck. I think I caught one. All of a sudden, like, come back in this corner and there's just fish loaded everywhere. And that is a freaking brute chunk right there nice well we are putting it together really fast guys you go from like really not catching oh my god there's so many swimming right there you go from like barely catching any to just smoking them in one spot which that just shows you guys like i talked about at the beginning you got to keep moving and you got to cover water and once you find the fish you kind of hunker in and start catching them like this the same way it goes for lakes ponds rivers private ponds pressured ponds i mean it doesn't matter you know you got to move and find those fish once you find them you can capitalize that's how you do it right there baby oh man we got to understand when we're fishing guys are bass are predators and they get triggered very easy if you piss them off you know, I could have thrown at that fish once. He wasn't going to eat it. I had to throw probably seven, eight times within 60 seconds. I worked that frog really fast. I could see by the bass's movement that he was starting to get aggressive. And uh, he finally came up and ate that frog. He's got to be patient with it. Trigger this fish to bite. These bass can be aggressive. So one of the smallest ones I've caught over here, but still a pretty fish. Thank you, bud. See you later, dude. Throw in that tree. See if we'll come up out of the slop. Oh! Dude, that was so cool. He freaking hammered that thing. Dude, it's so crazy fishing this frog in clear water to where you can like actually see him come up and eat it. It's just like a whole different level of frog fishing. They just get so mad. You can tell they just like run over to it or swim over to it. That bass right there. Pretty markings on him. Really pretty fish. But guys, I think that's going to close off today's video. If you enjoyed the frog fishing content, hit the like button. If you guys want to see another frog video, let your boy know in the comment section down below. Hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't been subscribed. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.